Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Today I am going to discuss about what is a constructor in Java and how it can play very very important role in developing various types of Java programs. So my dear students, if you are already having an idea about what is a method, then this topic of constructor will be quite easy to understand. Okay, I believe that you people are having an idea about what is a method in Java. Already I have prepared a video and I have discussed in my previous parts itself. Now, what is a constructor now? So, you can see here, there is one program I have taken. And in this program, I want to calculate the volume of a particular box. I want to display, I want to calculate and display volume of a box. So, how the volume is calculated, you know that width into depth into height formula. So, in this way, I want to calculate the volume and I want to display it as the output. So, I have written one Java program now. Now, what is a constructor? Now, you can see here in this program, there is one class. I have taken the name of the class is box. Okay. And in this class, I have declared four variables of double data type W, D, H that is width, depth, height and to store the volume, volume. Now, in this class, you can see two types of methods are there. How many types? Two types. Here you can see one method name with the name box and here also you can see one method name display. Now, what is the difference between this one and this one you can see here? You can see one clear point that this method is a normal method whereas this method is a special method why it is a special method the name of this method you can see it is exactly same as that of the class name is it right or not b o x b starts capital letter here also b starts with capital letter class name so this name and this name is same this is constructor a constructor is a special method in java whose name is exactly the same as that of the class name. This is the first point. My dear students, a constructor's first quality is a constructor name should be the same name as of the class name. Should be the same as class name. This is the first quality in which you can find out the constructor in a program. If anybody asks you whether constructor is there in the program or not, how you can tell by seeing the name. Constructor will have the same name as that of the class name. This is first point. Second point, how to find out whether it is a constructor or not? A constructor, a constructor does not have does not have a return type this is also very very important point so constructor does not have any return type you can see for any method in java we will make use of return types at least if the method is not having any return type then we will use white so here the name of the method is display and what is the return type we have used here white but constructors does not have any return type so directly you need to write the name of the constructor which should be same as that of the class name this is second point of the constructor now what is the third point which will discuss about constructor let us see now within this example program dear students you can see here I have created a class name box in these two types of methods are there one is a constructor another method is a display now you can see the work of display method what it is doing we are calculating the volume and we are displaying the volume in display method is it right now what is the main purpose of using constructor sir next question dear students constructors in Java is mainly used to initialize the variables of the corresponding object automatically you can see here w d h are the variables which i have not given any values so by using this constructor what i am going to do i i am going to initialize these values value of w i am going to assign it as 3 value of d i will assign it as 3 next h also i will assign it as 3 so i am initializing the values to the variables by using this constructor now now let us see if i want to execute this program now in order to do this before that I need to create an object for this class what is the name of this class box now here you need to create the object so what I am going to do box b is equal to new box so 
box is a class for this class you have created an object what is the name of the object b by using new keyword so name of the object is b now you know one rule in java that if you want to access any members of a class compulsory you need to make use of the object is it right now i will not call this constructor at all now i am not going to call this constructor directly what i am going to do i will call this method how i am going to call this method b dot display b dot display that's all now when i call this method what happened directly i will get my expected output as it is when you execute this java program the expected output will be this one because b dot display means control directly will come to this display and volume will be calculated and you will get the output so what is the volume it will be calculated 3 into 3 into 3 3 into 3 into 3 which is 3399327 which means we will get the output volume is equal to 27 now you people can ask one question to me now here sir here you have not called the constructor then how these values have been initialized can you tell me this is the third point i want to tell you about constructor a constructor is automatically called whenever the object is created for the class so we know that b is an object belonging to which class box class whenever you create an object for the class constructor will be called automatically so whenever this line is executed control directly will come to constructor and what we are doing in this constructor we are initializing the values for these three variables so values will be initialized and then in order to call this display method compulsory we need to make use of object b dot display this is how constructor works dear students the main purpose of constructor is to initialize the values related to the object okay if you want to initialize them automatically then we will make use of this constructor and what are the three points for the constructor we need to understand three differences a, how to find out that whether a constructor is available in the program or not first point point number one a constructor name will be the same name as that of the class name this is point number one point number two a constructor does not have any return type not even void point number three in order to call the constructor no need to create no need to call it by using object a constructor will be invoked automatically a constructor will be called automatically whenever the object is created okay and what is the main purpose of using the constructor in java programs the main purpose of using the constructor is to initialize the values to the variables so constructing automatically we are constructing the platform to use the variables which platform we are constructing initializing the values to the variables because of this purpose constructor is used so dear students any types of questions you can simply put it in the comment section so subscribe our channel and keep supporting our channel for latest videos related to different types of subjects so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah hafiz